Hi guys, I just showed in my charity shop gold or garbage video, I picked up this little radio control car in a charity shop. I paid £2 for it, which seemed a bit much for me. Uh, RC Fury by Character Options. Uh, manufactured by Ideal Village Products Group. New Jersey. Oh. I assume that would have been China. Never mind. Um, anyway, I showed in the video that I put fresh batteries in there, tried charging it using the charger. Light comes on to indicate charging, but when I unplug it, it doesn't work. So I've taken the screws out and I put a meter across. It's got a little nickel metal hydride rechargeable battery there, either nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium, one or the other. It should be about 1.2 volts when it's fully charged. And if we go on there, if I can avoid getting the wires in the way, that uh, long way round, that way round, we're not getting 1.2 volts. We're getting nothing. It did show more than that initially, but it died away within seconds while I had it on the meter. So I think that nickel cadmium, I'm guessing, now I was saying nickel metal hydride, but it wouldn't surprise me if it's nickel cadmium. Looks like it's not holding charge anymore. It's soldered directly in place. So just as a test, I'm going to desolder it and just solder a one and a half volt battery across there temporarily. See if that will make it work. Uh, if I just leave her underneath there a little bit. Might be able to get it to pop up when I heat it. Nope, it's not going to do that. I need to try and bend out the tabs and lift it at the same time. I might have to unscrew it, lift it up a little bit, so it's got some space to move. Screwdriver, I think that might be too big. Let's take the screw right out. Looks to me like it lifts up. Ah, right, well that one's just fallen off. That tab there has just fallen right off. How about if I hold that in place? Switch it on. Switch that on. Hold that tab in place. No, nope, still nothing. Right, so we'll finish desoldering the battery so we can get it out of the way. Just drop out with a bit of luck. There we go. Okay, that's one leg. Can we get to the other leg? Really? There we go. Right. So that's our battery. 
and I'm just going to solder this one and a half volt battery straight across. Let's see if we can put that back in place so it doesn't all rock around. Solder an iron down and we don't burn ourselves. Pop that back in there. Put that screw back in, just hold it all in place. Right, negative, positive. This is just very temporary. So we should now have one and a half volts on there. Oh, that was it. So it's the battery's no good. Oh, brilliant. So all I've got to do is source a small one and a half volt battery. I did have some, uh, the next size up. But you want one that's actually going to fit in the hole, don't you? Still, that's progress. It tells us the receiver, uh, receiver transmitter works, and the receiver works, LEDs work, but we need a replacement battery. Oh, I'm pleased with that. Obviously, not very practical to have that battery just sitting on top there, but we will be able to see that it actually works. Or at least we would if I kept it in camera shot. Let's change to wide angle. Turns a bit smaller than the, a bit wider than the left turn. It's stuck on the foot of the tripod. Right, so. Have to have a look at eBay, see if we can find some replacement batteries. I had a search around in my bits and pieces and I found this little nickel metal hydride battery. It's out of one of those solar lights. And I've just put a battery across it to charge it up and it took charge. Don't know how long it will keep it, but I'm going to solder this one on there temporarily. I've looked at the price of these uh, replacement quarter AAA batteries they are 
They're about 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters. And, well, they're silly prices, to be honest. Four or five pound, uh, depending on where you buy them. Not many places sell them. Quite a few sell the one third size AAA, but I've only found at the moment, only found one stockist for the quarter AAA. But this one looks like we might be able to hide it in there. And rather than use those solder tags, I'll use these. So we can just pop it in and give it a try. Right, that's negative again. didn't take better uh, could just try it as it is I suppose no it's not seeing it at the moment so what we'll do is we'll Turn that off, plug that in, and see if that takes any charge. Come back later. I think we might be charged up. And it stopped flashing, so it's seen it. Steering's working. Wonder how long that will last for. Can I tuck it in there? Probably ought to put some tape over those tags before they short out on anything. Right, I'll do that bit of tape. Right, bit of tape over it just to stop the battery shorting out on anything. Uh, now what's happened? Is that run out of charge already? Turn it off, plug it in. Yeah, <laughs> that didn't last for long. Still, that might be enough just to demonstrate it could work if I can find some batteries the right size. Goes back in there. Will it shut down with that in place? Yeah, I think we're okay. So this isn't a permanent fix, this is a temporary fix, just using a little battery at one of those solar lights. Now, funnily enough, I think I need to order some more of those batteries anyway, to try and fix a few of the solar lights that I've got. Do you think that was long enough? I doubt it, but we'll just see if we've got any more power. Turn that off, unplug that, turn that on, turn that on, yep, yeah, we got connection. Uh, yeah, as soon as I start using the steering, it's running out of power. That's it, we're out of power. 
stop. I'll leave that charging again and just see if I can get it to run a bit longer. But we've got the general idea. So replacement battery and we should be okay. The only thing is those quarter AAA nickel metal hydride batteries are quite expensive. More expensive than I paid for the car anyway. Well, that was impressive. <laughs> I left this charging and it's actually popped. It was quite a loud bang. Trouble getting it out, I think. Because it's popped and expanded at the same time. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, he's actually popped. That was definitely unexpected. So we won't be seeing that one racing with that battery. Careful we don't break those steering wires. They're tiny. I might take the opportunity of getting the fluff off the axle. Anyway, yeah, so that ain't going to happen. We just have to see if we can get the right size battery. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.